So what's up guys, this is Nagesh Shaikrish from Techno. If you are real big fans of those Nexus devices, then you are watching the right video. Synergen Mod is an enchanced open source firmware distribution for smartphones and tablet computers based on the Android mobile operating system. It offers features and options that are not found in the official firmware. But I am one of those who is totally inspired by the X-Reality engine of Sony and the Beats from HTC. But you will be losing them if you are going to use a custom ROM like Synergen Mod or a Parano Android. That's because the official framework of your Sony will be replaced by the CM framework. But the developers are still working to port these features to the AOSP based ROMs. But till now, no success story. But the reason why we jump onto a CM ROM is to get weekly updates from Google and also to experience a stock and a stable ROM. It was likely yesterday a new nightly build for our Xperia Z was released. So I thought I'll make a review on it. So now I'm just going to give you a demo on the Synogen Mod 11 and as I told you I'm running a nightly version of the CM11 on my Xperia Z. So you'll be seeing some bugs while I'm working through it. And I think this will be the last nightly version for my Z running Android 4.4.4. I would like to mention that there is no difference that I've found from its previous build of CM10. Starting with the lock screen, you can edit your puller shortcuts and access them by directly by dragging the slider over it. And also the navigation bar button lets you to access the Google Now and also any of your desired shortcuts. In the further of a video, I'll show you how to arrange the shortcuts or how to create the shortcuts. As it is KitKat, you can access your camera directly from your lock screen by swiping from your right. And you can see that this is the default CM launcher. The only difference between this and uh, the Google Launcher is that you'll be able to access Google now from the home screen itself in the Google Launcher whereas you can't do it in the CM Launcher. So it is basically a stock launcher. And also you can find the OK Google Now option on your desktop. Uh, here you can see that the CM11 is integrated with 3.0 version of the status bar with the same style of status and toggle information. Here you can add any of your desired toggle key by clicking on the plus symbol and that leads you to the tile and the layout menu. Where you, where you can choose your desired option and also you can remove the toggle that you don't like by holding on it and ho adding it to the trash icon. The icon on the top is used to restore the icons to the default one. Now you can see that my compass toggle key appears on my status bar. Now let's have a peek at the settings menu. Here you can see the normal settings option with some of the add-ons from CM ROM. Options like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile networks and your data usage remains the same. Under the more option you can see a facility that is used to set your default SMS app and also an option to to toggle your NFC and the tethering hotspot remains the same. There's a special feature in CM ROM called as personalization where you can edit your lock screen status bar and also can add some of your themes to suit your taste. Under the lock screen option you can see the same functionality like your screen security and other stuffs. Under the battery status option you can choose when your battery power should be displayed. And under the slider shortcuts menu is a place where you can edit the shortcuts that should appear along with the slider on the lock screen. Just drag the slider over the shortcuts that you want to edit and choose a different app. You can choose whether custom widgets can be placed on your lock screen or either your camera or the clock widget should appear or not and also whether you can resize your widgets. Under the themes menu you can choose various other custom themes created by many developers to suit your taste. Get more options will lead you to the XTA website or your play store to choose your desired theme. Under the wallpapers you can choose your desired wallpapers.
Another cool functionality is the option that can be used to change your boot animation. Now let's get on to the notification drawer menu where you can edit your quick settings panel. You can set your quick pull down options also. And the tiles and the layout is something that I already told you. Sound settings remains the same with same functionality so there is nothing much to explain other than your music effect. It uses the awesome DSP manager which is much better than the wiper for Xperia. But I think this app is the best equalizer app till now. And I also think that it needs some root permission or, or uh, has to be made as a system app. And the other option just remains the same like the touch sound or the vibrate op options and other, st other stuffs. Under the buttons menu, you can edit what and all should appear on your power menu by clicking on the power menu option. Either a snapshot uh, menu, a snapshot option or the stuff like the others, other stuffs. Under the quick launch shortcuts option, you can edit your shortcuts that should appear along with your Google Now option on your navigation button. You can choose uh, toggle torch or the other stuff. I have chosen the toggle torch option and now you can see that uh, the option appears on my navigation button when I keep pressing on it. You can edit your navigation bar from the buttons and layout options. Battery status can be read from the battery option. And you can manage your apps from the app menu. And under the privacy menu, you can add your unwanted phone numbers to the blacklist option. So the Cyanogen mode will manage to blacklist the numbers that you, the phone numbers that you have added to the blacklist option. And Whisper Push is used to manage your SMS security. And at last, the Cyanogen mode statistic is used to send anonymous reports to the authority to solve your problem. Language and input and backup and restore are default options, so there's nothing much to explain on it. Under the display and lights menu, you can see pulse notification option, which is used to apply custom light notifications for your desired apps. You can change your values. For that, uh, for changing your values, the pulse option should be enabled. And the other options that appears on your settings menu has the same functionality as the stock settings menu. So there is nothing much to explain. And I guess your people will be knowing how to enable your uh, developer option that is by clicking thrice or uh, more than thri uh, three times on your bill number. And you can find the developer options uh, shown on your settings menu. Uh, the same procedure is used again in order to gain the performance option. And you have enabled your performance option. When you open this option, you can see a caution popping up that's because this menu is really delicated. So without having any knowledge about overclocking or underclocking or the other stuffs, please don't use this uh, menu. But I will give you a glimpse on what this menu does. Here you can choose your desired clock speed for your CPU if your kernel supports. The CM11 cannot be overclocked but it can be underclocked. But some other custom kernels can be used in order to uh, overclock your devices like the Miao kernel that we have for uh, our Xperia Z. So here we are guys at the end of the video. Synergen mod had announced that the CM12 which is based on Android L will be delayed. Of course that's a bad news. 
Instead of that, the team had decided to complete the CM11 project and to be releasing a pure stable drone. That will be the good news. And the CM team had also informed that there will be no more nightly versions or release candidates. So the team had promised to work hard on this project and will be releasing the versions very frequently. So each release Cyanogen mod will be having lots of versions. I think Cyanogen mod is going to be the next big thing as they have many underground projects going on. As they have decided to do Android much better than the Google themselves have done. I think we got to sit back tight and wait for CM12. We'll be posting more details regarding Cyanogen mod 11, 12 and the other versions and the other ROMs on our blog including the pattern on Android or the carbon ROM and the other stuffs. And of course, don't forget to like this video. You can also watch many of our other videos on our channel. And if you feel we guys are really good, you can subscribe us. Guys, we also have a secret playlist coming up. If you want to know what is it, please stay tuned. As we say people, it's tech now and start of a new era.